Hello and welcome to The Pulse, the so-called Korean wave of popular entertainment driven by South Korean movies, TV shows and pop music has been growing in influence across Asia since the 1980s. It's now burgeoned into being a global phenomenon fueled by the internet and social media. But in its heyday, Canto Pop and Hong Kong cinema in the 1970s and 1980s was what inspired most of the dedicated fans across Asia. More recently, younger generation Hong Kongers are likely to have fallen under the spell of Korean boy bands like BTS and girl groups such as Blackpink, while TV watchers have been binging on Korean dramas. Since 2019, though, there's been a revival of enthusiasm for Hong Kong's homegrown talent, and it all started with a TV reality show. Currently, Hong Kong's biggest pop sensation, the Korean-style boy band Mira, first came to public attention during a TV talent show in 2018. Fans of Kung To, the most popular of the 12 boys in the band, recently spent 500000 on advertising, turning Causeway Bay into Kung To Bay on his birthday in April. It's great to spread like a positive attitude and positive energy. We hope that um, everyone can feel the pleasure, feel the joy that we have when we uh, support our idols. But it's not only music that has developed a new, more enthusiastic fan base. A group of male comedians known as ERA has earned plenty of attention and a big following after making appearances on a TV variety show. From pop music to online video clips, entertainers like this are injecting a new energy and drive into local popular culture. I became his fan, actually it's the second concert that um, he had. It was fun, it's like um, we were in a group and then because in the concert um, he really um, count this like banner. So for us it's like kind of like we want to show him that we are here to support him and then whatever uh, show you go will be here. Watching his show can like uh, help me to get away from like all the negativity. Um, you know, in, in daily life. Heiso became a fan of Kung To after watching his reaction when he was voted favorite male singer on 1st of January. Because it's so real, it's so genuine. And also, he's very hardworking and diligent, uh, working towards uh, his dream. So I think more than just his appearance, of course, it's very cute, okay, uh, but more to me is um, his attitude and also like his personality. Since then, Heiso has been avidly watching every video of Kung To and Mira she can find, whether reality show appearances, interviews, or music videos. And one of the lines mentioned that even to, to death, um, I will not escape like, from all kinds of difficulties. And also, it kind of like get me like, um, some encouragement or energy to, to face you know, what is around us um, in the society these days. Actually, Hazel is a member of Kung Tu's fan club. She also buys all kinds of products that Kung Tu advertises, as well as memorabilia of the star. Recently, Hazel joined forces with a friend she met at a fan club to create an Instagram page on which they share their designs for Kung Tu souvenirs. Occasionally, they give them away for free. She says it even surprises her how active she has become. I know nothing about design or drawing or anything uh, before I become a fan. 
I have to work. I also mom, and then I have to do all this like after work and after my daughter's slept. So, um, but I still got the energy to do so because you feel like you're doing something very, um, very positive. Today we're actually doing a free give out of our merchant. We have some files and also we have the coins. Actually, it's our first time to do so, so we're a little bit overwhelmed. Like, people really like it for the for our giveaway. You know, when you support them, it's like you're supporting the local culture. You're supporting the next generation. You can actually give me some hope, like I'm still doing something for the future of Hong Kong. <laughs> Born of the same talent show as Mira, a group of male comedians known as ERA also debuted in 2018. Their popularity increased after they appeared in a more recent TV variety show. Several hundred fans recently spent more than 100,000 for ads and activities to promote a new song by one of the group members, Dennis Kwok, nicknamed 193 after his height. The ice cream van activity in Causeway Bay on 5th of June attracted more than a thousand people. Your face, your face, poetic. <laughs> Excuse me, tall guy. Excuse me, tall guy. Fai has been a fan of ERA since watching reruns of their variety show online last year. He was particularly enthusiastic when their new show, ERA Selfish Project, was broadcast in May. Era's show includes games, pranks, self-challenging projects, mini-dramas, and recreations of music videos. These recreations don't just make Fai laugh, they also create a sense of resonance and nostalgia that draws him all the more. He said he's also attracted by the interpersonal relationships of those involved in the production. But while the show has many fans, it also has detractors who say they find some of the games and jokes vulgar. Popular culture is a way that we can find a channel to uh, liberate ourselves. And uh, if politics and even social circumstances continuously generating that kind of dissatisfaction or frustration, we really re lead to a move to the other path for satisfaction. We are rushing to hold on this kind of stuff, like Mira or Era. We think that we are having some power to say what we can have. <laughs> Apart from watching traditional TV channels, the younger generation also gets much of its entertainment from online channels. A simulcast of four such channels one night in April boost their popularity. One of those channels is Pomato, which was founded in 2016. 
and now has over 360,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's famous for its humorous and family-friendly videos. Some even say that online video is now having an influence on mainstream reality show and artist branding. Branding. 我們想到的東西就可以拍得出來,就可以拿著手機就拍得出來,我們想拍的東西就沒有那麼多限制了。Vito says that more people have been watching online videos over the past couple of years. This could be related to the pandemic, during which people have not been allowed to travel overseas or have even had to stay at home. From his five-year experience of online contents, he's found that the Hong Kong audience particularly likes jokes that play on words. But there have also been changes in audience taste over the years. Ultimately, though, Vito feels it's the down to earth nature of these videos and their connections with local culture and language that keeps the audience involved. 我們是會刻意去做回香港本地的題材 Welcome back. With me is Professor Anthony Fong, who teaches popular culture, digital and creative industries at the Chinese University of Hong Kong's School of Journalism and Communication. Thank you for joining us, nice, Anthony. Nice. So 2021 has been really quite a year for the local entertainment industry. Boy bands like uh, Mira and Era oh, wow. have shaken up the show business amid a pandemic. What really gave rise to these idols? I guess that for Hong Kong, there have been a long time that we, we, we are without the Hong Kong idols, local idols. And then uh, for the popular cultures nowadays, uh, they are actually consumed for a long time by like, adults like me, uh, more mature people. And uh, for adults, um, they, they, they have their own popular culture. But for the young generations, for a long time, we don't have that. Um, so I'm glad that Mira era actually have come out and becoming the icons of today. Mm -hmm. And do their success has to do with the management, the team behind them, targeting also the entire Asia Pacific region instead of just perhaps Hong Kong alone? Actually, they have been like managed quite well and then they have an image, uh, like a very local image targeting the younger generations. Um, but I would say it's not for the Asian markets, it's probably more for the locals. And for locals, they uh, actually they like uh, the younger kids, uh, younger like idols uh, who are actually ex absent from the screen for a long time. And uh, you may agree with some scholars who say social media platforms have magnified their presence. And we, in fact, in, pre in recent years, we have seen another local television station also trying to hop on the social media sites mm -hmm. in promoting their stars, but they don't seem to have done an, an equally good job compared to Mira and Era. I guess um, like for idols to be very successful, it's, of course, it depends on social media. But in fact, we need a large backup. The backup nowadays is the 
view TV. And, and for a long time, like, uh, um, we don't have a, a main TV station or main radio or main platforms uh, which actually try to create a new idols. And um, for this relatively new TV, and uh, uh, they actually start up with this uh, new initiative, uh, creating so-called local, uh, uh, creating the so-called uh, local idols uh, who are much younger and targeting to the young generations. For social media, so they actually, they, they need a kind of, uh, like backup, a kind of, some say, a, a, a TV station to continue to push this kind of content so that they actually work side by side. And in one of your latest publication, you highlighted the significance of instant viewership. Do you mind sharing, uh, if my understanding is correct, is it basically how it works for online television, the the, the concept of instant viewership? I guess we were, we were stuck with, with the old media. Old media actually always talk about viewership uh, with a certain like, reach, a certain point, um, and then calculate the kind of viewership for a period of time. Uh, but now, um, in fact, um, like, like I suppose you also watch YouTube, some, some of them, some of you um, may actually watch it for only a few seconds. So um, it doesn't matter whether they actually watch the whole scenario, whole TV programs, but watching, a, watching it for a short period of time and they will watch it for a selected period. Mm -hmm. And then, so that's why uh, the kind of instant viewership uh, with a particular set of people is more important than actually having uh, a really uh, addicted customer who are watching certain TV program for a long period of time. And, and this is more easy for advertisers to target um, those uh, consumers. Um, they just need maybe five seconds, one minute to target their audience who are willing to pay. Um, so this kind of like online advertising, uh, uh, this kind of like, um, like online banners, are more insane with this kind of new environment. So that's why we, we see that um, in across Asia, in Japan, in Korea, or in China, uh, this kind of online TV has been more popular than traditional media, simply because they can actually, they can reach out more young generation who are willing to pay. Is the form of presentation a little bit morphed into uh, viewership led or consumer led is it changing in any ways in fact like when um, UTV or any other like TV, TV want to create these new idols their first concern should not be um, the general public population they should be more concerned with uh, the online market um, in fact everybody like especially young generations are online and, and through social media, they actually get the most updated information. Uh, they, they are exposed to these idols every now and then, and on Facebook, on IG, on any other social media. So in, in fact, uh, so for them to create this new idol, they really need to pay attention to the online habits mm -hmm. and, and, and the reaction of the online audience. Uh, and this is also a, a kind of uh, places where they can find revenues. In fact, like talking about um, this kind of media, if they just rely on advertising, um, and this will be very limited. So, in fact, they have to find some other ways to like generate revenues for this uh, boy band generation. And the online market definitely is a kind of we call it a secondary economy, uh, which actually is much bigger than the primary economy, and which only depend on advertising. And do you think these boy bands are really turning a new page for local culture? I guess uh, for a, this short period of time, we can see that um, they are really popular. Uh, but I don't know whether they can be set as a kind of icon for Hong Kong popular culture for a longer period of time. This is uh, really has to be tested. Um, what we are concerned nowadays is whether they can find a viable business model who can, which can sustain them in longer term. That is, they continue to make profit, they con continue to generate revenues, they continue to like, attract the audience. Um, now, it's, um, uh, like, like we see that um, like across Asia. In fact, they have already developed other means of like, making customers to pay, mostly online. Say, for example, we watch VTV. Um, the younger generation like Mira or Era, but they cannot pay directly. 
So in fact, uh, without a kind of uh, so-called a kind of secondary economy or, or some kind of platform, or which actually can directly connect it to this fence, um, they cannot actually generate new revenue for uh, this new boy band. So I, I am actually a bit skeptical. Um, uh, Hong Kong has not been uh, developed in such a way that they can generate a, a large secondary economy uh, from the fence. The problem now is that the media nowadays are not connected to any of the purchasing platform. They are not connecting to um, this kind of uh, online payment. Um, and say, for example, uh, um, like, like BTS, they have a really stable online platform market, and then, and then those fans can directly purchase items from them. Um, talking about um, this kind of really popular program in China is pr Produce 101, which Min Min, uh, the Korean uh, Produce 101, they actu actually set up their like, um, platform uh, definitely uh, actually for the fans. Um, and then uh, the fans actually join them as membership. They have to, when they have to vote, they have to pay. Um, so that they actually directly like get money from the fans. But now, now Hong Kong's model is not like that. Well, they are popular. Um, Mirrors is, well, is really popular in front of the fans. But the fans, they just look at them. But uh, they can, perhaps they can go to the concert and pay for the concert for a limited size. But they cannot actually freely at any time at night that I want to support them, they want to pay, but there's no way they, they can do it. So there truly are examples to learn from, be it in mainland or Korea, within the Asia Pacific region. The kind of entertainment model in Korea and China have been significantly changed for these um, 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't seen the kind of big jump in the Hong Kong entertainment industry. Hong Kong entertainment industry is still uh, a little bit offline. Um, um, it's not highly connected to the online communities. So I guess with this chance, uh, when Mira and uh, Eras are getting popular, uh, I hope that uh, the Hong Kong medias are actually starting to pay attention to the online market. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, uh, the online advertising as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anthony. You're we'll welcome. keep this episode of The Pulse online, Thank for sure. You.